Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're going to Padstow to walk to this beacon at Stepper Point. Welcome to Padstow. When I think of Padstow, I think of the Metropole Hotel, the Camel Trail, the beautiful little harbour and our lovely walk. Okay, well I think about the obvious celebrations at the beginning of May. Yeah. And I suppose Padstow to me now, when I think of Padstow, it's Padstein with the fish and chips. Yeah. It's always popular, isn't it? <laughs> He's certainly injected a load of energy into the town, hasn't so he? It's a good cycle here, fish and chips and cycle back. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Millie? Yum. <laughs> Padstow's at the end of the Camel Trail. It's the old railway line that brought tourists in in the Victorian era. It's now a cycle path from Weybridge. Lobster hatchery. I take baby lobsters and grow them, put them back in the sea. Hello, boys! A lot of people forget that Padstow is still a working harbour. Popular for its fishing. Lots of lobster pots ready to go out. It's uh, Rally Cottage. Yeah, Water Rally's residence. Yeah. Can you guess what time of year it is? <laughs> It's half term this week and it's really busy. Cars and traffic are set, certainly taking second place to pedestrians. What do you think? Lots of people crabbing today. And they're catching those. Remember, visit Padstow and catch crabs. Yeah. We like pasties, I like fish and chips too. <laughs> and fudge and ice cream. Thank you. Hey. Did you get them? Chocolate. <laughs> so we found the harbour. It says bare left in front of the harbour, heading towards the Quayside Red Brick building that houses the Tourist Information Centre. Shortly after here, climb through Chapel Style Fields. Loads of people. They're all just coming off the ferry from Rock. A metalled path leads up to the War Memorial from where there are extensive views across Padstow and the Camel Estuary. Shortly after the metal gates turn left up a track that leads uphill on the left hand side of the field. As you climb the mouth of the estuary and the famous Doom Bar can be seen on your right. It's a very nice beer called Doom Bar. A dredger in the river. See the water cascading over the side. Cross the stile and continue to climb. You're right there. <laughs> Should we sponsor her to silly dance all the way? We don't have any money left. Oh, look at that water. It's so clear. Oh, nice place for doggies to have a drink. Passing through a large farm gate following the boundary wall of Prido Place. A metal gate leads onto a road. So we've now got to the road, we haven't found a stile and we haven't found a metal gate, but we're going to follow the instructions and turn right and walk ahead for nearly 500 yards to find a public footpath sign on the left help. adjacent to a slate stile. What does that say? Cragmere, three quarters of a mile. The instructions are telling us just to cross fields and cross stiles. After seven stiles, join a metalled road. Of course, that does mean you've crossed seven fields as well. Bear left between cottages before turning right onto a road. Follow the road ahead. Ignore a left bearing road. So we've ignored the path on our left, or road on our left. Travaux's head can be seen over the hedge on your left. The road gently descends before bearing away to the right. Ignore the stile on this bend. Follow the road right for approximately 100 yards before turning left to cross the stile. We're just following the quite well-defined path and it'll take us out to the coast. We've made it to Yay. the coast. I love walking near the coast. This walk has been a bit of a nightmare. Our long-haired doggies keep picking up bears and gorse and brambles. Oh, you poor little thing, are you covered? Turn right across the stile and follow the path leading to the beacon on Stepper Point. 
that can be seen in the distance. One way to enjoy the views. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, you can see the cliffs from here. Oh, it's beautiful. Our walk today comes from Classic Walks Cornwall, a brilliant walk book. It's number 38, Padstow, Stepper Point and the Camel Estuary. About five miles long, takes about three and a half hours. There's a grid reference for you there. Graded as a moderate. There's the walk directions. Quick look at the map. We've come up from Padstow and we're currently up here. We're about to go round the headland. And there's another look at the walk directions. We've still got quite a long way to go. Wow, just gently hear the lapping of the waves. Because we've had high pressure for so long, the sea is quite tranquil today. These styles are proving quite a challenge, aren't they? Yeah. Those are little over. doggies are not big enough, are you, to get over? So that's looking back towards Trevose Head and the footpath we've just come along. The sea is a lovely, rich, deep green today. We are right on the edge of the cliff here. Just a sheer drop. I love how people have worn four tracks so that everybody can stand in a line and chat. A kissing gate and a stone stile are encountered before reaching the dramatic butter hole with its multicoloured rocks. It's old beacon, Millie. What do you think they might use that for then? Well, I think they'd light it up if they're under attack to let the area around know and then they'd light up all the beacons. We are really high up here so it would make sense, <laughs> wouldn't it? hardly anything between me and the cliff. Don't do it! <laughs> I'm going that way. On reaching the beacon, continue ahead. A shortcut goes right towards the old Coast Guard lookout, rounding Stepper Point to reach a wooden stile. So that's the lower coastal path that comes straight from the beacon. We've come from the lookout. Oh, he's balanced on the stile. Come on then. <laughs> path bears right adjacent to a fence before reaching a wooden kissing gate and descending in the direction of a row of houses. Just coming down this bit of path is quite steep, which um, explains their moderate rating. A wooden kissing gate leads to the houses at Hawker's Cove. Follow the metalled road before bearing left. Teenager's fussing. She wants a taxi. Yeah. Call a taxi. Take me back to Padstow. Hawker's Cove. Last time we did this walk, that house was derelict. Wow, isn't it pretty? Lovely little cottages. What a view. It's another two miles to Padstow. It's the old lifeboat station. It's now been converted into a property. I'm waking up to that view every day. Nice. Pass behind the old lifeboat building and continue ahead towards the sandy beach of Harbour Cove. Pass over a stile and follow the path around to the right. Hello. Hello, Mr. Sheep. That's a really oh. bad impression. Descend via steps before crossing a wooden boardwalk following the waymark arrows. A small corpse leads to a wooden stile before bearing left to follow a path. The sun is now setting. Will we make it back to Padstow in time? Shortly afterwards, turn left and follow the field edge before crossing left over a stile to skirt a further field. Another stile should be crossed before leaving Harbour Cove behind and onto a distant track that leads past Gun Point. The track descends to round the beach at St George's Well before following the well-made track back to the War Memorial. We're just taking a well-deserved break. We've earned it, haven't we, Emily? Oh, so tired. <laughs> Padstow looks so cute, the lights are coming on in the hotel. Proceed back through Chapel style field to the harbour. From the harbour, retrace your steps back to your car by turning right into the Strand and left and further left signposted yeah, to Weybridge. Yeah, just, just, get, just find your car. Just, just follow the path you'll and fine. you'll get there. Or go to the pub. Go to the pub, it's <laughs> brilliant fun. <laughs> back to Padstow. It's nearly dark. Rick Stein's Seafood Restaurant in Padstow. I've really enjoyed this walk today. It's a long walk, but I think it's well worth it. I didn't particularly enjoy this beginning part where we were just crossing fields and the bears were a nightmare with our dogs. 
but once you hit the coastal path and you had the views of the sea, the sea of the colours today has been astonishing. It's that deep, deep winter green. I love that. And I think the walk along the estuary has been really pretty. I would give that 8 out of 10. Would I'd, you agree? I'd, yeah, 8. Eight's fair. It's a lovely, lovely walk. It's quite long. So uh, just brings some extra money for, uh, <laughs> to spend in the pub or on a nice plate of fish and chips. Yeah, going. yeah.